airline pilot hero Sully may become ICAO U.S. ambassador. U.S. President Joe Biden on Tuesday unveiled his picks for several high-profile ambassadorial postings. Included in this illustrious list is aviation hero, Sully, Sullenberger. Sully is the U.S. Airways pilot that conducted the safe landing of badly damaged Airbus A32214 on New York's Hudson River. Just two minutes into the flight, the airplane flew into a flock of Canada geese, and both engines were so damaged that it caused an almost complete loss of thrust. With credentials and sound thinking like this, Sully should be a shoe in to serve on the International Civil Aviation Organization. Retired airline pilot C.B. Sully, Sullenberger, most famous for negotiating this emergency landing with no fatalities, has been named to serve as U.S. representative on the Council of the International Civil Aviation Organization, ICAO. U.S. Airways Flight 1549, also called Miracle on the Hudson, was a flight of a passenger airliner that made an emergency landing in the Hudson River on January 15, 2009, shortly after taking off from LaGuardia Airport in New York City. Five people were seriously injured, but there were no fatalities. The airplane, an Airbus A320 operated by U.S. Airways, took off from LaGuardia at approximately 3.25 p.m. It was destined for Charlotte, North Carolina. On board were five crew members, including Captain Chesley, Sully, Sullenberger III, and 150 passengers. About two minutes into the flight, the airplane flew into a flock of Canada geese. Both engines were severely damaged, causing an almost complete loss of thrust. Repeated attempts to restart the engines were unsuccessful. Sullenberger notified LaGuardia's air control that he was returning to the airport. However, as the plane continued to descend in a glide, Sullenberger believed that it would be unable to reach LaGuardia. An airport in New Jersey was also quickly ruled out. Shortly thereafter he notified air control that he was going to attempt a very risky and rare water landing, in the Hudson River. At approximately 3.29 p.m., Sullenberger announced over the intercom, this is the captain. Brace for impact. Some three and a half minutes after colliding with the birds, the plane landed in the river. The fuselage's aft end made first contact, and that section suffered severe damage, notably a rupture that allowed water to enter the aircraft. However, the plane remained buoyant, thanks in part to the fuel tanks, which were not full. Passengers and crew then exited the plane via the forward slide, rafts and walked onto the wings or entered inflatable rafts. Local ferries and emergency responders were on the scene within minutes. A number of the passengers were treated for hypothermia, but only five people suffered more serious injuries. Notably a flight attendant was cut on the leg during the landing and required surgery. While Sullenberger became a national hero to many, some were critical of his decision to land in the Hudson River. However, a lengthy investigation by the National Transportation Safety Board concluded that his decision to ditch in the Hudson had been appropriate. Within days of the emergency landing, the aircraft was removed from the river, and in 2011 it was put on display at the Carolinas Aviation Museum in Charlotte. The incident was the subject of the Clint Eastwood drama Sully, 2016, with Tom Hanks in the title role. All nominees must receive Senate confirmation before they can assume their roles.